Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go over this shift game that I played earlier. Because shift is pretty broken right now. He got a mega buff last patch. And now he got nerfed again. But he's still pretty good. People are starting to figure him out. That little buff that they made him. Also, this little thing's happening right now. Oh, oh I died. So that wasn't great. Early game is still a little scuffed. Because uh, his one poke is not as strong yet. And his dash needs a couple levels. But if you go melee, you can win. It was just a rough lane. But overall, shift really pops up at the end there. Yeah, either way. You shall see him. The lane is rough, but we go restorative shot here. And we go extra regen. We go a lot of sustain, try to get through the early game as soon as we can, so we can start getting rage. I'm gonna go over the abilities, for those who don't know. The one is a bleed, you can get a lot of stacks on it, that's why you need battery. So you have multiple stacks, because it stacks on itself, and it will do the bleed damage exponentially, no, additively. So if you hit two knives, they'll bleed differently, and the duration will refresh. So the more knives, the more damage, and they're slowed by 35%. If your rage is max. So this character really pops up when his rage is on, at max. Which you only get at max level. And that's what uh, they have been buffing him about him. They buff the, um, the way you can keep your rage stacks. Or rage meter in this case really. Fun fact about the character. He. And I don't mean this is an, 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 a freeze offensive way. He looks like a, a gorilla. I was going to say the M word. <laughs> It just feels so illegal to say for some reason, but yes, and he was supposed to transform I think when he got rage But I guess they, they scrapped that idea, but his abilities do extra stuff the shift slows and ricochets to one more target the two Leaves a trail behind that dashes again, so you do double damage with the with the dash That's what we're gonna abuse today in this build and we're gonna we have the third ability, which is Deferred. It defers damage. For those who are familiar with Death Defiance in League of Legends, you basically take damage, but a percent of that damage, it's slowly hit on you by spirit damage. As in, it's slowly applied to you. So spirit armor is really good, because you can defer the damage. And you can activate it to cleanse some of that damage coming. So here I go pretty hard and I dash through them. Get the kill. Nice. So after a couple items, this character gets really Mickey. Like I died twice. At this point I'm 0 and 2. Well, with 2 assists. Right there. But I died twice. And after getting 3, 4 items, you start to get real online. And just one shot people. And having two points on your dash, which is 75 damage multiplied by two, which is 200, 400 damage. You're, you're starting to see how crazy it is. You can see the rage meter on the bottom. After you level your ult, you start to have it. Your ult is an execute. It's a point and click execute. You just have to click on them. And if they're low enough, when you make contact, they die. Simple as that. At tier five, it resets. So you can see how crazy that, that is. Huh. Let's see, I bought Hollow Point Ward. I have extra stamina to chase. Hollow Point Ward is decent for AP. Extra, extra spirit for even more regen. So I have like a crazy amount of regen for that early game. And even so, I lost lane. So I didn't play it safe enough. It's really good to play it safe. You really don't need to like aggress too much. Because you have your guardian. And after the buffs to the Guardians, they can tank for a little bit. And it's fine to lose it at like 6-5 minutes. It's not that big of a deal. I go aggressive on this guy. Dash and miss, sadly. <coughs> Start to get real dove here. So I have to back off. I defer some of the damage. Yeah. Oh, he's going hard in. Alright. I think very soon I start to pop off. I have full meter here. Lightning phase is a bit slow on this one. But I should be starting to rotate now. 
But this is not the the build that I'm going. It's not the build that's like really meta. It's melee shift build, which has extra burst with melee. Because he can survive very long, and the dash helps him get close and get a free melee hit on them. But right now we're going cooldown shift with uh, the dash. We're focusing on the dash, maxing the dash instead of the one. And it's pretty good. Another good thing about this build is, I'm not sure if they change it. I'm pretty sure it's changed. I buy Torment Pulse here. Do I still have it? I don't have it yet. I have Soul Shredder. Look at the double dash here. Clearing the small ones. Chill. Very fair. Will I go Torment Pulse with cooldown? Torment Pulse used to interact with cooldown. The, the more cooldown you had, the faster it would pulse. I believe they changed that. Here I'm... I don't know that I can be very aggressive here. I overestimate towers because I play too much like League of Legends and Smite. And towers are really strong. But they really aren't that strong. Pushing the minions in and then diving them. It's a play. Look at that damage. I have that, I have that uh, dynamo. With the double dash. But yeah. Just push the minions in. And fight them. Look, I'm I'm starting to get the confidence here. And I just really low down that dynamo. I don't know why I didn't ult him here. I didn't expect it. He's 1 HP. Wait, I need to change the camera here. Because I don't know where he went. He just kind of... Ah, oh, he went that way. He disappeared. We get the ult nullified. Thanks to Kelvin. And then we just ult this guy. And he's dead. Paradox comes in for a gank. Can't do much. She can't do much. We can't do much. So we just reset here. She's still going, I think, against Kelvin. Sees Kelvin very low. Doesn't expect me to come in. I come in with a double dash, and you, you see that burst. You see that burst. Double dash into a heavy melee, and you're dead. She lived, but imagine if I have a melee damage. It's just a one shot. But yeah. I get Torment Pulse? No. I got Mystic Shot, which is really good. It gives you both weapon and Mystic. I'm, I'm starting to be really aggressive here. I, I don't care. This is where I get the confidence. Like, yeah. I can do this. I'm Shiv at this point in the game. And getting that confidence is important. To start dashing around. You have to play at the edge of your life. Like, even if you're about to die and you get a two-man dash, you you will lifesteal off all of those. All of those and it'll be pretty good. Clear that pretty quick. Go for these. I don't dash these, right? No, I don't think so. They die to the bleed. Yeah. Oh, something I do love about this character is the right click. For those who don't know, the right click does have a special interaction, which you double barrel the shot. You shoot two shots. It has a higher cooldown cooldown you could call it cooldown but it's kind of like fire rate but it does double damage and it gives you a little bit of a kick of a recoil kick so you can use it as movement as well so there's a lot of movement you can do with him look i don't understand towers like you can't hit them here but you can i think i try to get this here figure that they're go on me not too scary just double dash dynamo almost 50 percent down I don't know if I was raging there. You have to keep your rage as much as you can. I do dash it here. Boom. Cleared. So the dash decays after 10 seconds of you not doing damage. I feel like you should get rage when people hit you. I mean, it makes sense. You'd be angry if someone hit you. But it doesn't work that way. He only gets angry when he hits people. And that's, um... I'm sure there is some lore about that. <laughs> there should be at least. So I'm, I think I'm gonna get 1v2 here, maybe. Nope, I dash him, do 50% of HP. He's 1 HP, he ults, and I try to chase him with the 1. I slow him, but he's gonna get out. I, nope, I get real close. Let me just yoink him. Kilbin is here. The tower is frozen. I didn't know he was frozen in, in that thing. So I go in and dash, and I just one-shot this guy. Now, and I have a 4-win streak right now, or 4-kill streak. 
I have torment poles taking damage. Just like that. Boom. It does 67, 57 every second. And since you live a long time with your three and you kind of get real up close, you can end up doing a lot. Stay safe out there. Thanks. And so my work begins. It usually does like 600 to 700 damage in a fight uh, when you're Viscous or Yamato and you live for so long. Uh, this guy tries to defend. I'm a little scared because I'm 50% HP. So I don't try to engage too hard. I don't know how good he is. He did hit a couple shots, so I do give him some respect. I'm still not go like fully going in in. <laughs> the confidence levels in this game really fluctuate. But once I understand the character, just dash through them. That's some good damage. Nice. I'm just farming. No one's pushing up. It's not time to over push yet. Uh, we go for a gank here. Billy. It's a warden. I just steal his jungle because there's nothing to do. And he's hiding. I don't believe I go for the urn. I think I grab it just to bait people out. Who knows? Maybe I do. Yeah, I see him right there and I'm like, hey, that's a kill. I should have dashed him earlier, perhaps. Oh, there's the kill. Just old from afar. You buy reach as well. I should I should be buying mystic reach here. Because it will increase the range of my ult and the range of my dash. So that's my, a mistake by me. Alright, let's move away from this one because there's a lot of people. And I don't seem to understand this current situation. I'm somewhat alone. I'm just dashing this guy. Yeah, I'm being really aggressive. I should have just been farming. There's a decent amount of farms around. There you go. I realize and move away. Another thing about this game is that I had two supports. Because for some reason, this girl has healing beam, by the way. Rescue beam. And this girl... No. Who, who else has rescue beam? I'm pretty sure Kelvin or someone else has rescue beam. But I have two people with rescue beam in this game. Damn. You can build rage by hitting the machine. Anything with doing damage? Pretty good. I see things happening. This guy's kit's down. He's kind of low. So surely I can go for this. I hit him with two shifts. He's almost dead. I ult him and get him just in the nick of time. Because he wasn't going to get executed in my screen. But the bleed helped out. All right. We're good. I try. For some reason, it did the sound and everything, but it didn't pull me up. Alright, let's see what I buy. I don't have enough, but I think I get lifesteal here. Yes, I do get spirit lifesteal. I don't know if you heal from Torment Pulse. It'd be pretty good if you healed off of it. It's not that much, but it's still a good amount. Here we are putting a lot of pressure. I almost dash him. He dies. We're just hitting this. Infernus is here to defend. We're all kind of getting away. I'm over here. Scouting the area. Because I'm not scared. I'm confident. I feel fed. I just dash him. He's dead. Because of silence. Same situation here. Ooh, I get stunned. I almost get him. I go for him because he's low enough for execute. No? Loyal? Oh yeah, I stay behind there because I don't know what's happening. I'm just here putting pressure. This turret is welling on me the whole time. I believe Par yeah, Paradox comes here to help me. I try to dash her, but I miss, sadly. So I lose a lot there. It's impossible for me to, win to get away from this, right? Somehow I do... This guy is going hard on me. Look at me. I'm low and I just dash him. Do half of his health. Shoot him once and he's dead. Welcome to my world, That's fun. Girls. That was fun. I just one shot that guy. 
And the difference... Actually, he's 9k and 15k. It kind of makes sense. Guys, it, a lot of characters aren't OP sometimes. Sometimes? It's just a skill, a skill diff. Like, if I get fed, that will happen. 15k versus 9k souls. There's nothing to it. Yep. I ult her because, I mean, why not? I had the reset. I have 5 points. So, if I get the kill... It's just a free reset. Alright, let's do these camps. I'm full of rage. Dash. 60 damage. Try to kill the one on the right so I can ricochet. Okay, that's 700 damage. I have enough for a th uh a tier 4. I don't know what tier 4 I go here. Because there's nothing really like game changing. It's better to just go for other things that you need. Like cooldown and such. Sometimes I feel like it's better. But I go for the fun one. I go for spiritual overflow. Which every time you shoot you get attack speed. You get life steal. You get cooldown. But look at that. All the cooldown that it gives me. Restore ship shop. Cooldown. Oh, look, look, there it is. Right here in the bottom. Cooldown, the pulse damage is 1.3. So, yeah, it does work. It's. They, they reverted it. So, the more cooldown you have, the more you would. Okay, that guy is just dead. The more damage you would do. So, I'm extremely confident here. I, I, I like. I know I can just do all this and not care. So I just look, I'm looking for a good dash here. That's all I need. Even if I take damage, that's fine. I hit the, the walker with the one because I know it will ricochet and it'll hit. Here I should have gotten a dash. I look for it, find a two, a two, hit them really hard. Get the execute, get a rescue beam healing. I'm just chilling here, really. Like, nothing scares me. I get stunned. This guy thinks he can beat me because I got stunned, but I do the same thing. I just dash in and ult him. And that's it. So obviously confidence levels are a bit up. A bit too up. I'm foreshadowing something, if you, if you, if you can't tell. I parry here. Oh, I get rescue beam. That, that's where I should have paid. But I have another rescue beam. And then I get hit by another rescue bean. So I'm wondering and I'm telling everybody. That's funny. We both have rescue bean. Sorry about that. I pulled them out. So yeah. I just haven't died ever since. The two kills. The two deaths. And I have 12 kills and 4, four assists. It's pretty dumb. Like people probably underestimated the dash. I feel like it could it could be the Genji syndrome because Genji's dash in Overwatch does like no damage. It's like 50 damage, I think. But this one does like 700. <laughs> different different HP numbers. Anyway. Yeah. This game to me basically is over. I don't know what this guy is doing. I hit him a couple times. That guy was low. I could have ulted him. I prefer this guy to do whatever he wants. I dash him again. He's 40%. I lose sight of him. And I don't I don't really feel like moving and doing everything. So I just keep pushing. I know the team's got it. Why not keep dashing anyway? I hit her with the slow. And I feel confident enough to go at her. Especially if I hit another one. I don't have any stamina at this point. Honestly... I would buy Berserker. Berserker is pretty good for someone that never dies and just really gets up in there, up and close. That's why melee is so much better. That's clear. I should go for the next shrine here. And at this point, I should leave after getting this shrine. But for some reason, I just want to limit test and I just keep going. I get silenced and I'm dead. And they celebrate. Dynamo stops and says, He dies! Or he does die. He does bleed. 
Fair character, fair character. Speed is up. Let's see, what did I get? I got improved reach. Oh, I sold it for cooldown instead. No, no, I have both. I bought both. So I have the cooldown. And I can just, you know, dash even further. Do the most damage. The best thing to do with Shiv is hit, hit people at the apex of your dash. Like, no. It's like double. It's like from here to here. And before it was like here to there. But the best thing to do is to hit them at the apex. So you're up front with them and you can do a quick melee. But if you have melee charge, it closes the distance. But that means you have to do a melee, a charge melee, and people can parry that. This guy's here, insta dies to me. I try to get up close and do a dash, but it doesn't work. I get caught in the ult. And please, Dynamo's not having it. Kelvin's actually keeping up pretty good. Like, he ha I have like, way more kills, and he has the same amount of souls, so he's been farming pretty well. At this point, I don't care. I just want to push up, limit test, keep, keep fighting and fighting. See what happens. Pretty sure I pay the price for it. I get these two statues. Nice, three spirit. You guys, three spirit's pretty good. It's like a whole lot. It's like one six of a tier five. <laughs> it's good to have. They stack up. Boxes get souls too, either way. If someone could do the math on how much is worth like one weapon, it'd be pretty funny. Not funny, but for example, let me see. Monster rounds gives you 6%. 50 HP and some other things. Ammo capacity is the, is the best thing to use to compare. Ammo capacity will give you 6%, the 6%, and then 20, 15%? So it's like 21%. And then the the ammo capacity, which is like 20, I think. Look at me, just going up, just going up. I thought I would just get him low enough to ult. I can't. I'm super slowed here. I just run away. I get rescue bean. I'm pretty sure at some point. I'm just trying to do damage, but I just can't find it. I get I overextend against five people. Ult for some movement, and it doesn't work out. It took five, five people to kill me. But at that point, <laughs> just doing the overconfident thing. Everyone's running away. Paradox is trying. Helding is running. Kind of big old fire. Yeah, you should, at that point, you should cancel and just run once they get out of line of sight. Shoot them with a the normal gun. She has a lot of chase. Can't find her. Nice, she gets away. Gets rescue beam. He's finding a way in. There you go. Kinda tickles this guy. And nothing. Oh, that's boring. Let's go back to Shiv. It is weird. I used to always like level the, the knife. Like I'm in still in this clusterfuck of a fight. I don't know what's happening. I go for the execute, but he dies. He dies instantly after showing up in the corner. I don't even know. I slowed this girl. I don't know if I get, I get if I get her. She slowed, but it's only so much I can do without stamina. She zips lines away. Everyone's doing mid boss. I decide, nah, they're fine. They don't need me for mid boss. So I just go around and clear some camps. End up there. There's an Infernus nearby, so I come here to contest him. Make sure he doesn't go to the thing. Dash him. Not do a lot of damage here. He's kind of healing. I dash away. Look at that dash distance. And I ult him. I didn't kill him, but hey. As long as you hit your dash, you're good to go. Especially the double dash. Little double dash action is enough. Boop. Nice. But it's fair, guys. 
it's all fair because he has no way to confirm that damage look at how much I do here with my gun I wouldn't buy uh, this item hollow point you could go the close quarter ones because you do get close quarters in there I dash do a quick melee I'll do enough I want to dash this whole wave right now but someone clears it and I don't get all the healing. I would have healed to full if I dashed that. Sadly, I didn't. Look at that point and click. They're low, point, click, and they're dead. Honestly, if that was a skill shot, it'd be too hard. IMO. Get all my spirit overflow stacks, so I'm shooting like crazy. I want a little bit more of a fight. Someone uses a secret door to poke me. Not much happening. I think the, the team just ends the game there. I hit this guy as much as I can. Oh, wait. Defer some of that damage. Big heal. And there's the game. Couldn't do a lot there in the, in the late. Didn't get the dashes. <laughs> but there it is. That's the meta character that everyone's abusing. It's Shiv. Will he get more nerfs? It's likely. I'm pretty sure he will get more nerfs. But as of now, he's just popular. The melee build is pretty good. Of course, in the high level, melee is not that, that good. Because you can just parry him. That's the argument everybody does. I mean, if you have the skills. But yeah. This one doesn't rely on melees, which is pretty good. IMO. Probably what people would go more for. But yeah. Dude, if I knew how, how much Torment Pulse did at the end, it'd be pretty insane. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.